and you'll learn a logbook are going to be great friends for the first part of your road trip. You'll go through a lot together. Look after it. Keep it safe. Take it with you and fill it in every time you drive. You two are in for the ride of your life. You need to record a minimum 100 hours of supervised on-road driving experience in your logbook. Don't be tempted to lie or exaggerate. There are penalties for learners and their supervisors for providing false or fraudulent entries in the logbook. Filling in most sections of your logbook is straightforward, but there are a few things you need to know to help keep your records accurate and make sure your logbook passes assessment at the end. Let's go through each of the columns from left to right. The first thing to note is that a single line runs across both pages and you have to fill in each column. Don't use ditto marks, even if the details are the same as the line above. And never use whiteout. If you make a mistake, cross it out and start a new entry on the next line. Date and rego number are obvious. Location. It's OK if the from and to entries are the same. Say if you started in Bundaberg South and finished in Bundaberg South. Just make sure you put in a suburb or town, not from home to the city or school to the shops. Odometer. What is the kilometre reading at the start and finish of your trip? Easy. Driving supervisor, first and last name. Licence number. Regardless of whether your supervisor is your mum or dad, a friend or an accredited driver trainer, their driver licence number goes here. Remember. Your supervisor must hold and have held a valid open licence for at least one year for the class of vehicle you are learning to drive in. They cannot be on a probationary, restricted or suspended licence while supervising. If your supervisor doesn't pass these requirements, then they cannot teach you and the time logged with them won't be counted towards your 100 hours. Next, the state or territory your supervisor's licence was issued in their signature and the name of the driving school if that applies. Time, start, finish and total. Now, this column is particularly important, total minutes. Although you need to record a minimum 100 hours, you log them as minutes. So 100 hours is 6,000 minutes. So one hour and 25 minutes is 85 minutes. It must be actual driving time. Don't include breaks or the time spent in shops. The last three columns need close attention too. The Accredited Driver Trainer column. This gets a bit tricky. The thing to note here is that every hour you drive with an Accredited Driver Trainer equals three logbook hours, which is 180 minutes. Got it? Good. But we're not finished in this column yet. Remember, the maximum amount of time you can record as triple time is 10 real hours. That's 600 minutes times three, 1800 minutes. You need to keep an eye on this column. Extra time after the 10 hours with an accredited driver trainer goes in the normal day or night column, in actual driving time. Don't triple it. And remember, if you enter hours in the accredited driver trainer column, you can't enter anything in the daytime or night columns for that journey. There's no double dipping allowed. There are more details about this in the logbook fact sheet. Daytime column is easy. Hours you spend driving while it's light. Night. You must record at least 10 hours. That's 600 minutes in this column. Nighttime driving experience is important because it's so different in many ways to daytime driving. Nighttime is the time from dusk till dawn. At the bottom of these three columns is where you keep a running total of your driving time. When you get to the bottom, add the total of each column. Then go to the previous page. Find the total from the corresponding columns, write those in here, then add them together. Done. What if you lose your logbook? Don't even take the risk. You can keep an electronic copy here at this special RACQ website. Once you have your 100 hours or 6,000 minutes, you need to submit your logbook for assessment. Double check that you've signed the declaration form in the logbook in front of a valid witness. Your witness also needs to complete and sign the verifying person's details section in the logbook. Remember, you need to be at least 17 years of age to sign this form and your witness must be at least 18 years of age and hold a valid Queensland open driver licence. 
You must submit your logbook at Australia Post at least 12 business days before your QSafe practical driving test. This allows for two days postage of your logbook from Australia Post to the Department of Transport and Main Roads and 10 days for the department to process your logbook. You can't take your practical driving test until your logbook has been checked and passed by the Department of Transport and Main Roads and you've held your learner licence for a full 12 months even if you complete your 100 hours before this. There's more information in your logbook. That's it. The first 100 hours of your road trip documented. 100 hours that will help set you on the road to a lifetime of safe and exciting driving. Good luck. Drive safe. Have a great trip. More information is available on this website.